We're the Newtonian Chicks. We're here to briefly illuminate the scientific discoveries of a child born near London on Christmas Day 1642 who devoted his life to science. His name, Isaac Newton. Why did the apple fall from the tree? Why are some things red and some blue? How do you calculate the shape of a curve? Ring a ring a rosy, a pocket full of Do not disturb 1665 to 1666. Within that period, Newton gifts the world the theories of gravity, calculus and light. Travel with us now and discover Newtonians far north. Kia ora, Mr Fraser. Kia ora, Newtonian chicks. Hop on in. Let's talk laws of motion. Every object continues in the same state of rest or uniform matter until acted upon by an external force. We're still travelling in a straight line when the caddy turns, but the doors stop us. <laughs> We're still travelling the speed of the caddy until our lap belts stop us. And I didn't have the strength to hold our little devil. Don't forget, gravity is the invisible string that keeps our planets orbiting the sun, ensuring our regular tides for our 90 miles. Hello, Mr. Geard. Force is proportional to the rate of change in momentum. F equals m times a. It requires a bigger force to decelerate a bigger mass. The force of gravity is forcing Mr. Geard's hay bale to accelerate towards the centre of the Earth. Kia ora, Pedro! Kia ora, Newtonian chicks! Your waka awaits you! For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Force is the curve of pairs. Only one chick is pulling the rope, but both of Pedro's boats move. The chicks applied a force to Pedro's boats when they jumped, but notice how both the chicks and the boats moved. Let us now walk through the rounds of Newton's calculus. Look at the curve of those power lines. These lines follow a catenary curve. The shape and equation of this curve was a topic of great debate in Newton's time. Turn it upside down, you get the arc of a bridge. Calculus enables us to give our petrified karate tree its date with death. Kia ora, Mr. Harawera. Che, kia ora, Newtonian chicks. I would like to use my Northland age to help explain the carbon dating process. Imagine all the carbon-14 atoms of this cardi tree represented by this newspaper. After 5,730 years, half are gone. After another 5,730 years, half of what is left is gone. The breakdown continues, and then by looking at the size of the remaining C14s, we can then calculate back to the date of our tree's demise. When bacteria cells land on this dead possum, due to the warm far north climate, it will reproduce itself every half hour. Newton's differential equation can calculate the number of bacteria cells in this roadkill. The reproductive rate will vary according to temperature. Hello, Newtonian chicks. Hi, Hi Mr. Mr. Seed. Seed. Come on in. Thanks to Mr. Seed's refrigeration, the reproductive rate of the bacterial cells are markedly reduced. Mr. Steed sells the best sausages in the far north. Calculus gives us the ability to measure gradient. Newton taught us that gradient is measured by height over horizontal distance. Kia ora, Mr. Zabritsky. Kia ora, Newtonian chicks. Let's go and discover Newton's light theory. Mr. Zabritsky, these colours, Newton proved, are all part of the spectrum of white light. Awesome, let's go! Newton explained light as being made of many small particles. Scientists moved away from this idea and favoured the wave model of light, similar to sound. But in the last hundred years, scientists have come back to Newton's particle theory and now seeing light as having both wave and particle properties. Is this the wavical theory or are they paves? By the way, Newton's favourite colour was red. And so concludes our journey through Newtonian's far north under the influence of calculus, light, gravity, you know, science can be really fun. Yeah. What's that man doing spinning that bucket of pippies around him? That's not pippies. That's gravity. And that's Isaac Newton. Hi, I'm Donna Summers, one of the Newtonian chicks. Our farm is 60 k's from the Cape, which meant I had to get up at 3.30 in the morning to drive into town. 
even though it was very exhausting, it was worth it. It was a great learning curve and with our primary objective to demonstrate Newton's theories in a practical far north way. Although the possum scene was gross. Hi, I'm Taryn Getty and this is my younger sister. Courtney and we're both born and raised here in Kotaya. We've just finished with three days of hard out filming the uh, sand dunes. <laughs> it was a lot of fun coming down even though it took ages getting up. Taryn, I know, will maybe one day join the fire brigade because she really liked the fire scene. But um, I'll maybe consider that after I go through all my design. One thing I really admired about Isaac Newton was the fact that he locked himself away for two years while his mates went out and partied and came up with the three theories of gravity, calculus and light. Kia ora, my name is Paul O'Hallahan and I'm proud to say I teach here at Kaitaia College. First and foremost, the chicks and I would like to extend a huge thank you to the Far North community for their 100% support, as well as Mr William Talby, our principal here, who as an ex-staunch science teacher played a pivotal role. My role here is that of homeroom teacher and art teacher and at times a wannabe science teacher and that's why I was stoked when the Newtonian chicks asked me to help out with this movie. It was a very rewarding and educational experience. Our final thanks has to go to the Royal Society for setting the challenge. We very much enjoyed our experience. Thank you.